So when Mozart himself went to uh, Wien, moved there, he uh, quickly acquired a piano from Anton Walter, who was the next, shall we say, uh, hero on this excursion through piano history. Walter uh, was quite famous. <clears throat> he was regarded in 1796 by von Schoenfeld in the, what's it called? <clears throat> Jahrbuch des Künstlers, 1796. Uh, Walter was regarded as the first and still the most famous in Vienna for his pianos, which were very reliable, <clears throat> very big sounding, <clears throat> and you could play loud and fast which is not necessarily a compliment, but this is a partisan. Uh, von Schoenfeld was a partisan. In the comparison between Stein pianos and Walter, he said the Stein piano was something which people bought who, people who preferred to play from the soul, uh, which says something. He's just trying to color the atmosphere to suggest that his friends, the Stein family, uh, were actually better builders. But what it does say, this comment, is that there was there were two distinct styles, even then, uh, both equally popular. Uh, and the comparison you will hear between the type of sound the Stein makes, and I can give you details, but that's another story. Uh, the Stein is a, is a more articulate instrument. It's, it's very fast little hammers. Uh, and you will hear that the, 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 the texture of sound is more transparent and it's just very sweet sounding. <clears throat> the Walter piano is more robust, is fuller, you could say proto-romantic sound. Uh, but I hope you will make this comparison yourself when you hear Viviana playing them. <clears throat> 